All right, so supposedly uh, this list from Talaria, so first of all, Talaria, thanks for sharing your list, um, is uh, currently at rank one uh, and has an 80, 81% win rate. Uh, that's quite a statement. Um, so we definitely have to take a look at this. Um, so it's been a while since we've seen a Kiora deck that's really impressed. Um, so yeah, um, not for any particular reason, like not saying Kiora is bad, just like hasn't really shown up that much. Um, so interesting to see that again, Talarian Academy is still playable. We just played, uh, a, uh, a deck with it, uh, using, uh, Yangling, uh, we're playing one here. We also have used like J it in the Jace Mill deck. So it's, it's super cool to see that this card is still relevant. I thought this card was going to be out of the game entirely. So that's nice. Um, is this always 20%? I thought it was 30%. Might be lower now. Um, I don't know. Um, and it's here for a couple of reasons. Obviously, the uh, Sylvan Shrine, as we've come to know, and the classic Isochron Scepter. But then we also have two copies of Panharmonicon here, uh, which do a lot of good things for us. Um, interestingly, like Frill, Frill Neck, uh, you could get an extra Adapt on this. But mostly here to double up on Tide Shaper and uh, Mist Ravens and Primeval Titans. And of course, the classic Arcanus and Crush of Worms. So this is kind of like just a further iteration or a kind of refinement of the classic um, Kiora strategy of just play efficient uh, stuff early game, uh, use Panharmonicon to kind of uh, accelerate you with Tide Shaper or uh, something like that, or or use Sylvan Shrine, uh, or sorry, Talarian Academy to get uh, Sylvan Shrine out early, uh, and that will propel you towards uh, a powerful late game where you can use Arcanus, Crush of Worms, uh, to just generate a ton, a ton of value. Uh, notable new inclusion is uh, Primal Summoning. Uh, this card is a mythic, so it's hard to obtain. I uh, don't envy anyone who is trying to, who would want to build this deck and uh, has to obtain these. I think I just crafted all the cards in the game uh, earlier this week. So uh, this was kind of like one of the last few green cards that I needed um, besides like the 10 mana, 10, 10 or whatever. Um, so, but it's really, really good, right? Just nine mana, draw four cards, and then the next creature you play costs zero. Um, that will allow you to play a card like Crush of Worms for zero mana. So essentially, it, for, for the same cost of Crush of Worms, you also get to just draw four cards and, and then play Crush of Worms. So, um, yeah, just, just think about it like that. It's really, really good. You can also just use it to play Arcanus or just any of your other stuff. Um, really, really powerful card uh, assuming that you are at a stable relatively stable board state uh, and won't just die uh, other notable uh, aspects here hermit of the flock just a good defensive creature uh, if it ever flips it gains you some life just solid uh, single negate here um, just in case uh, only one birds of paradise maybe deciding that birds of paradise isn't that crazy uh and i'll single anticipate so really interesting to see the the one ofs here obviously like the legendaries we you know you can't run more of so like that you know and and momir and, and arcanus are, are pretty classic but yeah uh choosing choosing to run one of each of these uh is uh pretty interesting and a hermit as well right so um very very interesting case of like deciding not to play uh more more copies of these um, but yeah, otherwise pretty pretty standard stuff, um, but just uh, really refined. And I also assume that a lot of this is on the back of uh, Talaria playing really well. But we're gonna see if we can kind of emulate the same type of gameplay. Um, yeah. Uh, before we get into the gameplay, though, if you are watching on YouTube, remember like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff really helps me out. All right, let's get into the games. Versus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> speaking speaking of aggressive decks. All right, so up against Angrath, pretty scared right now. That's not good. That's not good. All right, here we go. We, go. we won the game, guys. We drew the crab. I guess we also we start off with a blocker, so it's it's also not the worst. Uh, notably, Primeval Titan being buffed to a seven-seven uh, is pretty pretty clutch. When it, playing a bad list, choosing not to play either of the lands that Angrath decks typically play, which is kind of interesting. Oh, jam, jam that anticipate and take a rune shell grab. We're probably just gonna play this daybreak ranger as a four three. 
with no other abilities. Not really much we can do. Yep, take the damage here. Or we're sorry, we'll take two. We'll get to get rid of this thing. Actually, that's kind of nice, because now we have a better play on turn four, other than <laughs> a bad, bad Daybreak Ranger. Okay. Lead haste. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll block like that, for sure. You know, I could actually Daybreak Ranger that. That's actually, wow, this Daybreak Ranger not, might not be that bad. All right, so we target this. This has Word. So we, we block the Runner with the Crab. We block the Cannoneer here. Assuming, oh, I guess they didn't, weren't gonna. Well, like, okay. And actually, we can, we can do this where we can attack with the Daybreak Ranger. And we don't really care if they block. Because again, we're probably just going to block with this anyways. I guess... Maybe that's not true. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Ooh, that's so good. Oh my god, that's so huge. That was like one of the most... The, probably the best things you could draw. Wow. Wow. What a draw. Mm -hmm. That's not what I was expecting. I'm just gonna block the flyer here. Take the five. Hopefully, I'm really hoping that this player in Academy doesn't fuck me over. It's gonna fuck me over. I don't think we have much of an option other than Sylvan Shrine Pass. Like this Momir Vig is not gonna do it, right? We have to block with our um with our protector. That's fine. So I actually only take five from that. We'll only take two. Um, this so actually is maybe not as bad as uh, I would have thought. Yeah, we're gonna have no choice but to do this. We're gonna take five this turn at the least. Foul is uh, not a bad card here. It's actually doing. I'm gonna do some work. Alright, so take two from this, take three from the bird. Oh, that's so bad for us. All right, what if this gets reach? I feel like that's the only way that we can do this. It's like, this gets reach. Nope, okay.
this gets reached. This the the the, the crush. <laughs> Good reach. Come on. Uh, all right. Furnace well. well uh, is there any way that we can live? What creature could we draw? I don't think there's a creature in our deck. Oh, well, I found one. I found the creature in our deck. That does it. Well uh, I guess we're not gonna attack with either of these or this, actually. Uh, oh, we can pet harmonic on to and bounce this. We have no ways to gain life, I think. Pretty sure. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> I think I think this is the play. Well deserved. And then we can like attack with both of these. I think I just try and close up the game and do the Arcanist thing. Like they top deck, uh, like what, what, like, what, what removal does it like that they would run doesn't also just kill me. All right, so with this we have a two turn clock, just with two concealing. Uh, Right, this is 8, 16, 21. Well deserved. Well deserved. I'm gonna mute this person. Uh, if we had enough mana, we could Tide Maker and uh, Concealing, Concealing Arcana. It's fine. Oh, come on! Oh. That was humiliating. That's so rude. That like, like that's such a. Please don't do this. If you're watching, please don't do this. Like that's so rude. Oh my god. That's more tilting than anything. Like, I'd rather you just play, play it to kill me. Tide is coming in. <laughs> Fiora versus Rick. This battle is going to be epic.
Victor Landwalker. The match is yours. Okay. I love this part. The tide is coming in. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna actually put the back to Hermit because I don't think it does enough. Yeah, this is way better. Hello, little friend. Time to face your fears. Good. Oh. It's a good one. All right, they got the turn two bird, the turn one bird. Show me the bird. One must perfect one's craft. We're going to do a whole bunch of nothing for a little bit, and then we're going to do things. <laughs> we're going to do things. <sighs> Save the two damage here. I don't think it really matters. I actually want to test this and see what happens if I do two debuts. Uh oh, well, that's also really nice. It's actually kind of huge. So we can do this, double it, and then hold up a negate. Assuming they don't just like dump a ton of stuff in my uh the nightmares on my deck. Then I'm just gonna primal summoning here. Mm, that was pretty good. You just Arcanus, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. That is the earliest Arcanus I think I've ever seen. Fine. Open your mind. Also fine. Each time you targeted it this turn, lol. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with that. 
My opponent is holding up two mana. I think. I don't remember if they've shown the likeliness to have negate. I think I'm gonna play around it though. All right, cool. I'm kind of down for Tinker. Huh. This will summon Arcanus only, which is unfortunate. So I think I'm just going to do the Chalice. Just get to kill our opponent faster, right? <clears throat> Oh, so this is the, uh... It's fine. It's fine. Yep. Alright, so I think I'm gonna do this. Go attack in. <laughs> so, prime time. So, we'll see what we get. Actually, that might affect my decision to, um, so because of that, I'm going to double up on this. It's like now I'm getting to the point where I don't really want to play a bunch of cards. just do both of these and like almost kill them oh we actually would just kill them oh i'm dumb i'm done i didn't uh yeah. <clears throat> i i missed two damage like i, I just missed two damage oh well that again. Snapcaster is a good card. So I hear. All right, that probably means this thing is dying. Yep. Okay. Kind of down to just like. Mystery in this. Oh, that was a dumb idea. Uh, that's whatever. Oh, I can. Sorry, I can bounce this. I don't think it matters. Uh, and just pass. <clears throat> Like now, unless they can wrath the entire board, this still has sneak. I guess it doesn't have ward anymore. So they could just kill it. Let's see that again. One must perfect one's craft. Sure. Open your Okay, you have the answer for the crab. They do have the answer for the crab. Okay. Right, like uh, we could do this. Yeah, this doesn't help. Oh, I guess we could give this ward. Yeah. 
We we just gotta play this and and, and hope. <laughs> Yeah, what a surprise, I know. I'm, I'm just full of surprises. Oh, no, day judgment? That's fine. 17 nightmares. That's not gonna do it. It's good. It's good, but it's not gonna do it. I brought back up. Your thoughts are an open door. What a remarkable surprise. All right. Eat dirt, Landwalker. Enough. Certainly close at the end there. I love this part. The tide is coming in. <laughs> Tiara versus the fairy. Ooh, the fairy. This we have a negate, we have uh, a couple of ways to kind of square around things, but might be tough. I might want this. Uh, I, I think we'll be able to draw something at, at, at uh, by that by the time it's that we time. are doing doing Hello, the stuffs and things. Seek knowledge. I never know what to do when I'm on draw with Kiora, and I don't have like a turn one play. Like, obviously I top deck uh, Isochron Scepter, I'm just gonna jam that, but like, do I wait for the Tide Shaper, or do I just uh, play, like, one of my two drops initially? Mm. And again, it might be matchup dependent, too. Crab. I think because of that, I'm just gonna wait. Gonna jam side cheaper. How refreshing. Hmm. I love how they both go, hmm. Hmm. Mm, indeed. A seeker. I? I'm kind of down to play this Daybreak That's Ranger on here. Um, and then next turn, um, we'll snipe it. Mm. 
It's almost night. Nice. Just like, just like with all of us, forgot, forgot about uh, the reach on that guy. I think I'm just gonna play this, even though they might have absorber negates. Okay, it's fine. Nope. Try again. Like absorb, I think was gonna get us there regardless. Night has. No matter what we did. Hmm. Hmm. Boundless potential. So now I think I'm gonna play into like negate and guess again here. Let's see uh, what happens. I'm gonna down for crush of worms. Uh, and then we'll just play this. Yeah. Uh, and then because of that, I think we're just gonna attack with our side shaper. Already getting kind of dicey. And this would be so good if you could bounce your own creature. Like, not itself, but like. Mm -hmm. I would love to just like return this Tide Shaper. Alright, now since I have two five powered things, I'm just gonna attack all. So we're getting a vindictive shot here. I want to save this Arcanus. Yeah. Right on time. I kind of want to save this Arcanus when they tap out for when they tap out for the Elemental Mastery. Like they just jam Elemental Mastery here. We can Primal Summoning. Call the elements. Okay. Because the big thing here is we want to kind of overwhelm them with stuff. Um, might as well do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is also another reason why I don't like that we can't bounce stuff with Mr. Raven because we're kind of forced to... Uh, want to see if I can I'm evil Titan just just and just do that maybe that's better no I can't be right <laughs> like it delays our um, Leviathan by a turn But I think getting the, the, the draw for guaranteed is is uh, a little better. But I also might decide the Day of Judgment here, in which case Crush of Worms comes down. That's that's fine. That's that's very fine. So I want to continue attacking with all, but I, I like because I want these things to die. But yeah, I expect that um, my opponent is going to be smart and not block these things. Mm 
-hmm. Wait, they actually do? All right. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I think I'm just going to daybreak ranger this Got thing. Uh, let's do ice crunch up there. out night has fallen it's like now i expect them to day a judgment uh and i can just uh replay or sorry uh, play a crush of worms and have big boys have a lot of big boys Annoying. It's fine. Please and thank you. Hmm. So notably, the I thought I was going to play around absorb or something like it, but um, you don't even need to do that anymore. Fine. Studies. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's just miss Raven. We can Isochron. Uh, let's play this thing out. Play out prime time. Ooh, I could panharmonic on, but I, I'm, I'm just gonna save it. Because uh, again, the Crush of Worms and Arcanus are like the big, the big things. This is a, this is a grind. This is a grind. If I've ever seen one. So I've never really taken a look. Look at this ugly thing. Ew. Never really taken a closer look at this one. So assuming our opponent has, ooh, is this going to be the spell mastery? No, it's anticipate. Okay, interesting. Oh my god. Okay, our guy gets glared. It's fine. Like the irony here is like I don't even have board space to play this crush of worms. Let's make now let's try something new. I'm kinda wondering if I should even play out creatures, but I kinda have I've kinda I feel compelled to. Alright, well, none of this matters. Not, none of those matter. Um, so I guess this would still give me two cards. Yeah, let, let, let's just... Uh, yep, there we go. There's the Absorb. Yeah, that's fine. It's it's not that fine. But... <laughs> uh, we can find a Reclamation uh, and, and maybe hit uh, Arcanus. But yeah, the big thing is like we are kind of just waiting for our big behemoths to come down. Mm. And this is interesting where our opponent is. Okay, there we go. Finally, 
freaking finally. Thank you. Thank you for wrapping my board. You've done a great, you've done a great service. Ooh, I can fatal infection. It's kind of hot. that normally wow a little scary now because um they have the ability to like uh, attack me with the water elemental and then use the um <clears throat> let's make this fast okay they do decide to block okay that that gives me a little bit more wiggle room they could have they could have done that and then used the second sun uh second half to uh deal me big damage i'm not even sure if there's any creature are there any creatures left in my deck I thought that's a genuine question. Right I genuinely time. don't know that. Uh, have they played two Second Sons? I don't think so. I think I've only seen one. Okay, there's that one. It's fine. Ooh, I actually can't play both of these. I was kind of hoping to play both of these. What can I do? Oh, we're using this first of all. I think I have. I think I have to do this. It kind of sucks. I'm actually, kind of down. Oh, I can do. I can do it all. Uh, cause I can do this, play this, play a second Panharmonicon, How refreshing. get the other, um, one of this guy, play this out. Yep, I'm just gonna replay all these guys. Yep. Woo! I I got I got a ton of these guys. All right. Uh, let's do let's make them big. Let's see how big these guys get. Oh, you know what? Let's do it again. Let's, let's let's just let's just go all in. Of course. Of course. But also... Yeah, I was gonna say also, like... What it is, yeah. Yeah, let's just play these out. Like, we kinda can't win if our opponent uh, has it all. I think I play like one, uh... That's fine. Oh, that's so fine. That's fine.
yeah, this game probably would have been a lot easier if I had just uh, played better into the um, Absorb on our Arcanus. It's all, all fine, all fine. Huh. Where are my artifacts? Any cool artifacts? All right, that's that's not a cool artifact. I think we're just gonna go all all out here. Take this. Uh huh. I was going to 15. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just do this and then oak and hide this guy. Alright, let's see if they drew uh the second sun. They also could draw uh, another Immolating Glare. There's a couple of things that they can do to survive here. Um, but nothing's better than just attacking. Oh. All right, nothing. Yeah, I kind of knew that like the Arcanist value plan wasn't as important as landing uh, Crush of Worms at uh, opportune times. <laughs> All right, uh, I think I think I could, I could play more with this deck, um, but I don't really feel the need to. It's kind of straightforward, and you can just tell that this is really good. Um, very well constructed. I think the Hermit uh, and the Anticipate. Uh, make a, and even the birds actually actually all, all of this all of the one ofs make a ton of sense as to why they're one ofs but why they're still included right the hermit if you draw it in the aggro matchup is really good the gate if you draw it in the teferi matchup is really good uh, anticipate and birds of paradise is not really a card that you ever want to see two of you kind of want to play one of it use it and never see it again um, so that all of those make a ton of sense uh, primal summoning did so much work uh, both, like, you know, our, our Primeval Titan felt really good, especially when we were able to Paramanic, par excuse me, bleh, Panharmonic on it, uh, into, uh, our much, uh, our, our, uh, top end threats. Uh, Panharmonicon was really flexible, right, as you saw, where, like, sometimes it just made an extra mana, right, with, um, uh, with Panharmonicon and Primeval Titan. Other times it was more defensive, uh, copying Mist Ravens and the, um, uh, the tinny, tiny, tinny, tiny, um, and then uh, otherwise they could also be used more aggressively or more proactively, copying things like crush of worms, arcanus, uh, and even um, uh, daybreak ranger. Um, I don't think we ever did it, but like there was one time where I was like, hey, we could like double up on this, and I don't, I, I don't actually have confirmation that this works, but I assume that it does. If it does not. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, super, super interesting usage of Panharmonicon. This isn't the first time I've seen this, um, but it, it's really cool to see um, uh, how adaptive this deck can be uh, and that it's good in a variety of matchups. We struggled there against the aggro deck. Um, that was pretty obvious. We actually almost won that matchup. Like they just top decked uh, the damage. Um, so um, yeah, that's the one downside is like Isochron Scepter can maybe get you some life gain. Uh, Hermit, again, is is there to, to give you some of a buffer, but yeah, definitely the deck does, uh, uh, is likely to struggle, struggle against a super, super aggressive deck, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for Talaya for, uh, uh, posting their list, uh, congrats on getting, uh, on getting rank one with it. Um, yeah, really cool list. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff really helps me out. If you're watching over on Twitch, remember, you can leave a follow. You can find me here again uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays starting around 8 p.m. 
uh, Eastern time. All right, that's going to do for me. I'll see you guys for the next video.